Hey everyone, it's Leela with Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's Tumblr tutorial, I'm going to show you this very simple, dirty pour using hippie crafter paints. Like always, all of my materials will be listed in my description below, including direct links and coupon codes. This is going to be a very short video, so let's go ahead and get started on these tumblers. These are the paints that I'm working with today. They are from Hippie Crafter and they come with all of these high flow, vibrant, ultra pigmented, 24 premium grade colors. These paints are so fun to use. They're very vibrant and I love how they look on tumblers. So you see I have a 30 ounce stainless steel tumbler. I prepped it and I also painted it white. You can see my paint job isn't the best, but that's okay. We're going to be adding all this paint over this tumbler, I have my craft area set up. So this is a stand for my tumbler. This is what I'm using to anchor it or just keep it into place. You wanna make sure your stand is higher than your tumbler and there's a little space between your tumbler and the stand. Uh, so I always use this for all of my dirty pours. It's just a 22 ounce stainless steel cup and it's perfect for my bigger tumblers. These are all the paints I'll be using for my tumbler and they'll also be listed in my description. To create my dirty pour, I am using a silicone cup. This is very easy to use and it's reusable. So to start, I take all of my colors in no particular order and I add them in the cup, just adding each color individually and make sure you do not mix these colors. I'm adding them one at a time and wherever they land in the cup is where they land. And before adding the paints onto the tumbler, I'm taking some water and I'm adding water all to the tumbler. This is going to help the paints glide down the tumbler more easily and it's going to allow the paints to not stick to the tumbler. I am going to show you another tumbler I did without adding the water and you'll see the difference. And then all I did was take the paint and pour it around the tumbler, allowing that paint to drip down. I'm going to take my camera off of the tripod and show y'all. I would like to apologize for my camera angle. I'm using one hand to hold the camera, so please bear with me. But you can see that that paint ran down and there's some areas of the tumbler that the paint didn't uh, run down or glide down smoothly. So just like the area that I pointed to, I take a wooden stick and I push that excess paint on top that's pulling on top of that cup and I push that in the areas where there's bare spots on the tumbler. And I love watching this. I love how all the paints like separate and make a cool effect. And then I have extra paint left over and I add that extra paint towards the edges to make sure all of that paint runs down and it covers that entire tumbler. So this part is basically just spinning the tumbler, finding areas that are bare, that doesn't have any paint, and just filling in those gaps. Sometimes it is stubborn, the paint is, and it doesn't wanna run all the way down. It's not because of this paint type, it's just because it's a dry area, and that's why I like to add that water to help that paint glide down. It gives it a smooth surface so it doesn't um, just stick to the tumbler and it slides. And if you notice, there's a lot of excess paint that drips down onto that paper plate. Just take that wooden stick and scoop that paint up. Try not to mix the paint together and just place those paints randomly around the tumbler. I am pressing that wooden stick on the tumbler, allowing that paint to come off of the wooden stick and running down the tumbler, filling in all those bare spots. And don't forget the top of the tumbler, there's still a lot of paint pulled on that tumbler. I always go overboard with the top of my tumbler, making sure that all of that paint is removed because if you have all that paint still left over, it's going to take such a long time for that paint to dry. So I just take my wooden spoon and I just keep scraping until it's almost bare because if it does dry um, like three or four days later, it's going to most likely peel up. You don't want a thick layer of that paint on the bottom of your tumbler and you don't want it to peel up. You want that tumbler to be as smooth as possible. And I'm just going around the tumbler with my wooden uh, stick and just popping any like small bubbles or any areas that may have clumped up. 
and here is what it looks like before it's completely dried. I let this dry for about 8 to 12 hours and it was completely dry to the touch and it was ready for epoxy. So while this dries, I'm going to show you how my other tumbler turned out without the added water to the tumbler. Now you can see I've already done the first pour on this tumbler and you can see that some of the paints did decide to drip down but a lot of the paint decided to just stick to the top. This is not because of the brand of paint. This is all acrylic paint. If you've seen my older videos, you've seen me water down acrylic paint but with this specific brand, I wanted to keep these colors so vibrant so I didn't want to water down these paints. So that's why I decided to add water to the tumbler first. Make sure you have a nice wet tumbler. So when you add these paints, they will glide down so easily and you don't have to worry about adding more paint or keep scooping that excess paint to the top and letting that paint just naturally fall. All right, so let's go back to my other tumbler. It was about 12 hours for it to dry and I let it dry on my paper plate. You can see that it was stuck to the paper plate. I forgot to transfer it to another surface. So if this does happen, I wanted to show y'all, it's okay, just take your X-Acto knife and cut into that paint or just simply move that to another surface after like two hours of it drying so it doesn't get stuck and difficult to remove. And once I removed the tumbler from its stand and the paper plate, I have this beautiful tumbler. You can see that nice pour on this tumbler. What I need to do now is clean up the edge. Since it did drip, you're going to see the edge or the rim of the tumbler have a lot of dripping paint. So easy to clean up. You're just going to take your X-Acto knife that you use or a razor blade and just clean up that rim. Taking that X-Acto knife and forcing that X-Acto knife towards the inside of your tumbler. You do not want to force or press that X-Acto knife going towards the outside of the tumbler because you risk the chance of sliding that X-Acto knife down that tumbler and either ruining your paint or making your paint peel up. Okay, so make sure you're forcing it. You can see that X-Acto knife is going towards my tumbler inside and not on the outside. You want to keep this beautiful design intact and you don't want to mess it up at all. And once I finished removing the excess paint, I went in with a 120 grit sanding block and I sanded down my rim of the tumbler. I did this very lightly, just removing any of those stubborn parts that I couldn't get with the X-Acto knife and carefully sanding around, focusing more on the inside. And then I took my finger and I felt little areas. It was easier to feel with my finger of which areas needed more sanding and more cutting with my X-Acto knife. And then I went in with my epoxy. I'm using about 20 millers of epoxy. That's 10 milliliters part A and 10 milliliters part B, totaling 20 milliliters of epoxy. Now I am not adding a decal to this tumbler. I decided to leave it as is because it's so beautiful with just the dirty pour paint on the tumbler. But if I were to be adding a decal, I would probably epoxy this with 10 milliliters of epoxy add my decal and then go in and cover the decal in the tumbler with another 20 milliliters of epoxy. Once I was finished adding my epoxy to the tumbler, I let my tumbler spin on the cup turner for four hours. I then turned off my cup turner, let my tumbler air dry or air cure for another 20 hours with a total drying time of 24 hours. And once my epoxy was cured on my tumbler, I took that X-Acto knife again and I went around the rim of my tumbler one more time just to make sure that the rim was completely cleaned up. 
And once my tumbler's rim and the inside of the tumbler was completely cleaned, this was my final result. This tumbler was so fun to make. I love choosing all the different colors on the tumbler and placing them on the tumbler. This reminds me of tie dye. And if y'all know, I absolutely love tie dye. So I hope you find this tumbler as an inspiration. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tumbler and craft videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.